All right, everybody. I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into this one because I've been wanting to do this one for a long time. This is uh, one of those videos that <clears throat> I've seen a couple of guys do, but only because they just maybe got lucky and got the opportunity to do it because of the tree that they had. But this is one of my trees that I overwintered and it is one of the Kadotas. It's actually one of the first, I guess you could say one of the first trees that I got, but it's actually an air layer off of it. And it just grew into this, you know, cool little Y pattern. But today I, I'm gonna chop it in half. Cause uh, like I said, I've only seen this a couple of times, <clears throat> only because I probably am only uh, I've only had this opportunity, uh, I guess, like, uh, that those guys had. But, let me see if I can get this thing out of here. This thing is super root, root, root bound, by the way. Let me get my words right. I got problems with words sometimes. But, it's not, it's not, it's not as root bound as I thought it was going to be. But, it's pretty bad. It's kind of gnarly up on top. It's all thick mat of root, but now the way it goes is that they take their crappy saw because they don't want to mess up their good saw and they just saw right down, right down the middle of it. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to repot it and hopefully it survives. Hopefully, oh, see it's very important that you you choose the, the dullest saw you have, okay? That way you look really dumb whenever you can't <laughs> saw through them. And, oh, well, look at there. All right, well, that was easier than I thought. And then this half is gonna go into one pot here. And then the other half is gonna go back into the original pot. I'm probably going to trim this section down just to make it uh, fit into that the pot a little bit better. But yeah, just a little bit. <clears throat> Take your old handy saw and just keep whacking away at it, I guess. Uh, uh, I haven't mentioned it. I have no idea what I'm doing. So don't, don't do what I'm doing if you want to keep your feet and you have anything to live without question. Because this is going to be questionable what are they living on. I'm just making room and making a little bit of an experiment. Because I got some new fertilizer. It's actually my homemade fertilizer that I need to try out. Because I'm not sh quite sure if it's really good or not. Sometimes you can get an anaerobic situation. Sometimes you can get an aerobic situation. And I believe what we want is an aerobic situation. I think I have is an anaerobic situation and um, I'm gonna test it out on these guys just to see whether it's gonna kill my trees or not <laughs> because the well, last time I made this uh, solution it was just all the chopped up grass that you use from lawnmower clippings I, I made that video before uh, to tell everybody about how to go back into my, my feed look up that one that's a really good free fertilizer but let's get back into the uh, business here. We are going to put some dirt in the old hole here. Y'all don't mind me. I might have even tried to edit some of this stuff out because I don't know anything about YouTube either. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm winging it every day, y'all. So... Anyway, y'all get the gist of it. I'm going to go ahead and do this with the other tree as well. Let me go. Water it in real good, so. I'm not even going to worry about putting fertilizer in here. I'm just going to let it go. And uh, see what we get. Yeah, so... I'll get going on the other one just real quick. I want to show everybody what else we got going here. 
I've switched up everything a little bit since the last time I've talked to y'all. And I got the big some 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 big boys going on right there. Um, that's actually my Celeste that I rooted from cutting um, last year. The the other one's uh, right over there in the bucket, but I wanted to go ahead and take this one and get it potted to the biggest one so far, and see just how much putting it in a huge pot will do right off you know right off the bat and then one of my newest one is a tiger panache or pan tiger panache potatoes potatoes however you want to however you want to narrow it down then the i-258 then my lsu tiger which i have um in my last one of my last videos i said i was going to try to uh graft my uh big old preto that i got in on one of my last orders for free but my wife kind of claimed it and it's hers now so i decided to go with the um peter's honey i have a peter's honey that is uh in a pot not a few feet away but i'm just experimenting i'm gonna see if that's gonna if that's gonna take but so far um I'm get my dirty hands in there so far it is good and i did this like three days ago two days ago maybe anyway there is my ramada that's a calderdom ramada and those are all the big pots i have so far everything else is off over here organized waking to wake up wait, waiting to wake up but oddly enough the negra de ogde and my lsu gold never even wanted to go to sleep so they're just chilling out with figs it's got a big a good size fig on there already <laughs> i'm gonna be eating figs in like i don't know two and a half months uh ls uh, yeah i'm not gonna go over the rest i'll go over the rest of them but this is the uh, other stuff oh i forgot to move my junk out of the way but all the other small stuff that i just uproot or well uh up potted from air layer and some a uh, couple of cuttings that i got over you know the past couple months but uh anyway yep that's gonna be it if you've uh made it this far uh, hopefully i've earned earned your subscription and a like and um leave me down in the comments uh something i don't know tell me if i'm uh, if I need to step up my game, do whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to flabbergast now. But um, anyway, y'all. Yeah, so like I said, if uh, you have made it stuck around this far, thank you very much for your attention. I do appreciate that. And I will catch y'all next time. Later.